have such a good birthday. You know, life has been lifing and all things considered, I'm happy that I was able to enjoy the day, filled with gratitude. I'm so thankful for those that made yesterday special. And you know, I'm just looking forward to this next year as a new chapter is something more. But before I wrap up this vlog, I got another package to share with you guys. Oh, actually I actually have two. These came yesterday. Ooh, this is heavy. Oh. And this one. So at least we round out the vlog. Finally having the right size contact paper. So stay tuned for the DIY where I try to up the ante a little bit over here. I don't know. It's just time that I try to spruce up this place a little bit because if you know how much rent is in the six, I'm not leaving for a little bit. If you guys want to see travel vlogs and me live life legally blind with financial freedom, we're going to have to stay here a little while. So in the meantime, we're going to make the best out of the situation and try to spruce it up a little bit. I don't know. Personally, me, I don't know about you, but I hate sound of packaging especially when I'm editing it just I don't know when you lose one sense the other is heightened so it really gets to my ears I didn't believe it before but the way I can hear supernatural anyway decided to use my Aldo discount because whenever your birthday comes around they give you 20% off to get a pair of booties because would you believe I don't have a single pair of ankle boots that don't have a heel and the way I was ripping and running the six yesterday you see the weather out today? I am not walking around in heels. So these couldn't have come at a better time. They are basic, and I mean that in the two senses of the word, but I still love them, okay? Super simple, sleek, black booties, good for every day, good for work, good for what I need to do today, okay? So let's try it on the right foot. Where are my socks? I swear. Whenever I need my socks, I feel like I should put air tags on them. Let's see, I had them a second ago. Yep, that's mid 30s. The way I lose socks whenever I do laundry, the way I lose socks in my apartment, but at least if I had en suite, they'd be in the vicinity. When they're downstairs, two things happen. The machine gobbled it up or someone took it up and just doesn't want to bring it back down. But let me not go on a random rant because you know I can go on a good rant and try on the right side. I don't know about you guys, but I am not so symmetrical, okay? My right is a tiny bit bigger. And these are a half size smaller than they should be because they've been sold out for three weeks. So if I wanted to use the 20%, okay, I need to stop doing that because that's, ew. I don't know what it is about cracking. It just, they fit perfectly. I obviously wouldn't wear them with these leggings, but if you know me, I live in Lulu and Aloe sets at leisure all day. Ask me why my coat is on inside. I don't have an answer. And these came in two separate packages yesterday. Amazon, I need to speak to your manager because I will order a whole bunch of things and they send everything separately. Is that like a new thing or is that just a me thing? Either way, this is gray and I wanted it to be white marble. Do I want to pay $1,100 more to get a one bedroom? Not right now. Ain't that crazy? Like, <laughs> Toronto's expensive for no reason. And I want to know, if you live in Toronto, what do you love about the city besides the cuisine? I want to move to Dallas. At this point, I don't even know that much about Dallas, but I'm just over here. I'm over it, over here. This damn roll cost $100. At least it's the right size, because I don't know if I'm including this vlog or the next one. <laughs> when I first ordered contact paper, it was inky winky, dinky winky, it wasn't the right size. The biggest thing I learned this last year of life and starting this next chapter, gratitude is the attitude you need to keep when life is lifing, okay? Like I've said that for everything when it comes to losing vision or other things that have happened in my life, but I have never been tested as much as I have this year. And you're part of the Patreon fam, you know how this intertwines into my YouTube break and why I've been MIA for the last three months. It's just, let's put it this way. Yesterday and even the whole weekend was wonderful because I finally put myself first. It took me three decades. But I finally put myself first and I said, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna pour into myself so that when I am ready to pour into others, I can be more whole. And ironically, I think that was one of my very first public podcasts. I'm just realizing how essential it is to be intentional and be present in order to get through some of the things that happen in life. And as many things that are stressing me right now, I do feel truly blessed. And I got really emotional yesterday at moments just realizing that a lot of times I miss my blessings because so much is happening. And 
you know, life is always going to have something good, bad, or indifferent. And it's just the difference is you deciding to choose to allow these things that challenge you to craft your character to be better. And that is just it. And that's what I'm realizing in so many ways. So, I mean, from January 1st of this year, 2023 was not playing with me. The way this year started, I said, oh my gosh, and I was not wrong. <laughs> this has been one of the hardest years of my life. So good riddance. Goodbye, I cannot wait for a fresh start. And when I think of birthdays, to me, they're more important than New Year's because that's your anniversary. That's your milestone to reflect on your life. So for me, I'm just overwhelmingly filled with gratitude and eagerness for things to improve and for me to continue using these things to make me better. And don't let God who you put your hands on, it stays the same. And people can be grooving to a beat that will not produce the full manifestation of what God wants to do in your life. I'm preaching this thing right now. So this is the message you dropped on my birthday? Today what? That it's Some of y'all used to be in the club. Stop acting brand new. You <laughs> need your pattern. I need you to turn up. Everybody clap your hands like... It's a wind muff. Oh wow. Birthday girl, you wanna try it? No, you go for it. What's gonna happen if we say no, you already opened it? So I'll sell it by the glass and grab it to the No, no, just eat it. It's good, it's good. No. First bite? Different foods, different strokes. Something different. It's good. I have better though. I'm feeding your camera with bread. <laughs> Eat it. Delicious. <laughs> How do I get it to stay up in there? Celebrations continue. Oh, because it does look like a dragon. I don't eat out a lot. That's why I was surprised when you said dinner. I was like, oh, you have to try it. Packages of emergency. So if you're not feeling well, you remember the orange powder, the vitamin C. So you have that in there. I put two packages of oval red and bockers popcorn in there for you. Dark chocolate treats with little berries in them. Happy birthday, Alicia. You're so funny. You can still talk. You will fuck her out. How's the hunt going? Nice, they make you interview five times. Grapefruit, strawberry bitters, sage, and grapes. Actually, that sounds kind of nice. I'm gonna get it. I love that it's the first thing I saw. Yeah, you filming me? Don't film me when I look like shit. You don't look bad. Yeah, I do. Last time the vlog saw you was the last time I saw you. Well, happy to be back on the vlog. I have some political views I think you guys should all hear about. No. I'm there for some reason, though. I feel like it's a bunch of adults with backpacks that don't know where they're going. Excuse me. I have a backpack. I didn't bring it today. You're singing to my phone. Sing louder. Oh, yeah. Don't be rude. Then it's like you take me out. Tell me Do you like Cincinnati or Houston? See, he's been working out, guys. And he's not single anymore, unfortunately. I will be soon, though, so you know. What a mercy. What if she sees? She won't see. That's never happened to us before. Yeah, that's totally. Let me get something next Sunday. So what's your stance on abortion? What a mercy. So, how was the orgy in Jamaica? There wasn't one. I'm a good Christian woman. Hello? Oh, I love this did song. Did you just it's stand in the corner and watch? Yeah, that's what I did with my blind eyes. I watched. Right? Yeah. Maybe you just feel around, you know? 
That's not a good place to be blind because you oh don't know. Oh my gosh, the guy in Jamaica asked me, how do you have sex? I'm like, you're laughing so much to ask me that, sir? I said I have a YouTube video on that. On how to do it? No. Like an instructional video? No. You should do that. No. It's pretty much the same though, right? Yes. It's just you can do it with ugly people and I guess you don't really know the difference. So that's kind of nice. Done? Can I eat? Yeah, go for it. Every time I ever see you, you get a burger. No. Do you know what a steak is? Yeah. It's a burger for rich people. Are you going to take me for my birthday to Barbarians? Sure. Yeah, right. You don't remember my birthday was last Sunday. Men don't remember birthdays. The same mistakes again? What do you mean? Like things to watch out for? Yes. I don't know. Because I can't see much. Well, he's probably the best rapper exactly. out there right now. I I'd think Jake was better than Drake. Don't let me say that in Toronto, but. I like Kendrick too. Yeah. Yeah, Kendrick Drake Cole. It's good, it's very light. I try to put a screen protector on my glass door for my balcony to make it privacy screen. Bubbles on bubbles on bubbles. What are you doing in your house that you need privacy? What is this man trying to do with phones right now? Oh my god, update your phone. My phone is updated, it's 12. It's not updated. Who goes out to be roasted by the fresh? My own family won't go through my phone, but this one does. Um, my brain's not working today. I can't be charming. I'm sorry. Where's the strings for it, though? It fell out. I'm never this. buying you a hoodie again. You ripped the Good. first one you used. I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, Alicia's world. What do you guys think? Get out of here. Is that male pattern baldness? Do you think I need to go to Turkey to get this shit fixed? It's very nice. came today to finally cover up the silicone but riddle me this white paint but my place is beige I mean when I first came to see the place it was an even amount and then they said they're raising it 50 bucks because they had to do renovations all they did was paint it beige I guess that counts as a renovation but anyway to see what this frosted window is saying what do you think Hopefully I don't mash it up as much as I did the other one the other night. But I'm gonna leave this for a little bit, wait till they finish their business, and then we'll get back to it. This is the prettiest pattern so far. The only thing is, it's not long enough to do all the surfaces I need, and it's also not glossy. <sighs> I'm not having much luck. <sighs> do I need to move over a little bit? Just a little, little bit. Ugh. This is a shroom matcha. Chuguga? Chuga? I don't know how to pronounce the mushroom, don't mind me. But it's supposed to have me supercharged for today and it's a busy one. Got something from Sage. Oh, the box smells amazing. I hope it doesn't mean something's leaking. But let's just go through it real quick. I haven't worn this sweater in such a long time. This used to be my vibe. The oversized, Right, Cardi? I can't tell you the last time I wore the camisole. They used to call them white beaters back in the day. What a crazy name for a piece of clothes. Oh, it smells so good. Half of these things are not even mine. I told myself no Christmas this year because of everything that's going on. But then I couldn't resist. There's a few things in here that are gifts. I might actually give them before Christmas. And I'm only doing Christmas for family this year. I used to spend thousands thousands on friends and little cousins because you know Christmas is for the kids but then I realized they don't even remember half the gifts I get them. Shipment came pretty fast so off the top because I'm not going to zoom in to see what these are. Spa day, present moment, and good night. Some of the best essential oils from Sage have been discontinued but one of these is a gift and the other two are to re-up my stock. 
I don't like any of the new essential oils they released recently. My favorite cleaner ever. Okay, the fact that I'm excited about a cleaner lets you know, adult in one one. Just put this little tube into the glass jar. If you've seen my clean with me's, did I even ever post it on TikTok? I filmed it in the summer, but you know, I stopped posting mid-July, so that might not even be up. This is one of their new either face masks or face wash. I was supposed to get a face wash during the Sephora sale. I wanted to get Grown Alchemist, and when I saw the bottle in real life, I said, $52 for that little thing? No, thank you. So I think this is the mask. Let me zoom in. Let's just see, because I want to be accurate for you guys. This is their Detox Clay Mask. Mmm, everything smells so good. Use that tonight to blast out the last bit of this. So when I go back to the dermatologist, I don't want her going, oh no, what did you do to your Face. Now we're actually at the halfway mark, so I've been seeing quite a bit of results, but it's not clear. So this is the turning point. I'll bring you guys to the next session and we'll do a chemical peel together. This is the face wash. The packaging is so simple. I love very minimal packaging. It looks so good in my washroom. Not that the aesthetic matters as much as it works, but I wanted a gentle cleanser because of what's going on with my dermatology sessions. I mean, Micro needling is no joke. Although I could still use my Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, which is still one of my top reviewed videos of all time on the channel. But I think I might swap this out for the acne version. Ooh, no, no, no. It smells like a yoga studio. You know, like some yoga studios have that really natural, like this. I mean, as long as it works, but it smells ting, ting, ting. It's gifts, and I'm kind of jealous. I want to keep these for myself. Too, especially since Spa Spirit, the one that I mentioned that's discontinued is not one of these. One of these two, again, I'm not gonna zoom in because it doesn't really matter. One of these is relaxation and the other one is sleep. So there's a lot of really grounding fragrances in here that I hope the loved ones I give it to enjoy. Isn't this such a pretty package? <laughs> Put these three in there like so. So this is dented, but this is a spray deodorant. Now, I'm not really good with natural deodorants, to be honest, in the summertime is not enough for me. I use natural deos on top of my antiperspirants because this is not enough. Da -da -da -da! I'm so excited for this. This is one of the very first products I ever got from Sage. It's their yoga mat spray. And their new packaging is so luxe. One sec, I'm gonna show you the old packaging because I still have quite a bit left. There is their original mat spray bottle, very similar to their Dio bottle. In case anyone cares. Manduka brand, and this is what you use monthly or bi-weekly if you really need to, to get into the cells of the mat. Imagine a mat having cells, but that's how they describe it. So I go in with this once a month and it's a foam that really releases all of the dust, dirt, debris that builds up on your mat as you use it as often as I do. And then daily I wipe down the mat with this and it smells so heavenly. It smells just like the yoga diffuser blend that they have. So anyway, that is my quick little holiday haul. Don't even know what part of a vlog this is going to fall into, but I wanted to record it real quick for you. Ra -ta -ta -ta. I wasn't a shopaholic, would you even believe me? I haven't shopped at J-Lux Label, not to dox myself, since I went to Jamaica, so not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Although I will be placing an order next week, trust me. Black Friday, at the time of recording, we're a week away. The Lord knows, with the film schedule I have, this is gonna be up in January, no lie. Wee, this feels so soft. Okay, J Lux. Definitely leveling up with the fabric, because to be honest, sometimes it's a it's a no for me. But this feels like luxury. It is their knit. I'm just gonna have to show you guys in a, like a side cutaway type of split screen action. Yo, what's going on here though? Is this the front or the back? What's up with that? I hate all black everything. For all the years that I worked in restaurants and retail and the dress code was all black, it was to the point where for the last five years of being a wine angel, people would always ask, why are all the other girls wearing black and you're wearing, because I can. And the managers would pull me aside and they're like, we should tell you to wear all black, but you can dress. So, cause you know, I stay living in my neutrals. Dep, dep. Why are there so much like silica? I cannot wait to wear, to wear I don't know. 
I used to tell myself when I shop online, oh my gosh, this is gonna be perfect for this event or this party. Those days are far behind me. I don't buy for events because nine times out of 10, I'm imagining something that's never gonna happen. Like I have a gown, a gown gown for three years that I have nowhere to wear. But I convinced myself there was a gala I was going to that I never got invited to. So there's this, which I don't know. It's kind of giving straight jacket. Cue the split screen. I mean, does it look good or not? Cause I don't know yet. This is just me. And that's me post bro. Not hair in the lip gloss. For the first time ever, I actually ordered their accessories. Now I'm anti costume jewelry cause I think it's just like taking your money and throwing it in the trash. I'd rather buy real jewelry because if the world ends, at least you can be like, hey, take it. It's worth something. But you know what? These kind of things are super duper trendy and I probably wouldn't get a jeweler to make these anyway. So for what it's worth, and I think they are gold plated. I think, I hope. Costume jewelry is not cheap. I remember back, back in the day, at least when you get costume, ooh, this is heavy. At least when you get costume jewelry, it would at least be Cheapy cheapy. These are huge, but they're giving Bottega do, but I'm not mad at that because Bottega is one of them companies. Is it Bottega Veneta or Bottega Veneta? I know it's not pronounced the way most people say it because I watched a whole documentary on it. That's how you know I'm a nerd, but either way, they're like little teardrop earrings and I'm so excited for the event that I don't have planned. Maybe I'll wear them to brunch sometime. Quick little haul. It's red cup day. I don't know why they don't put it in anymore since the cocoa. My latest greatest obsession are these coffee capes warmed. It's in Gaza of their basic needs. It's a very long and portrait. It's also the civilian life. So we have to remember not even international, uh, not the Palestinians, but also.